24 and breaking news in the East Bay. Three people were shot in San Leandro. Yeah, police have blocked off now a section of Hesperian Boulevard as they conduct their investigation. Crawford Force Sarah Stinson on scene for us now joining us with the latest. Sarah? Yes, several blocks here on Hesperian Boulevard are completely blocked off by police. We know now that three people were shot. They have non-light threatening injuries They're at the hospital. They brought themselves to the hospital and we know that police are still on scene investigating. You can see a better look on your screen now where there's a map. This happened at the uh, 50 15200 block of Hesperian Boulevard. There was a call last night at around 11 o'clock. Police got a call about loud music and officers learned that there was a birthday party celebration being held at a banquet hall at this location. Officers spoke with the people on staff and requested that the music be turned down. You're now looking at a live look at the scene. We move on to around 2 o'clock. San Leandro police received more 911 calls, but this time of a shooting at the same location. Location. An officer a few blocks away of an unrelated event also heard those shots fired and responded within seconds. Officers discovered a large crowd leaving the establishment. No one would tell police what happened, but when they went into the scene, they found 30 shell casings from multiple rounds on scene. Officers learned that there was three gunshot victims and they brought themselves to the hospital for treatment. So those three victims suffered non-life-threatening wounds and police have not said who's responsible for this shooting. They are still on scene trying to gather any and all evidence they can. You can see it's a pretty big scene here with several blocks blocked off by police and I expect this will be this way for a while now. We're talking a scene that started at 2 o'clock. It's now 826 in the morning and no one can get in here on Hesperian. So avoid the area and we'll be here continuing to follow the latest. Definitely a developing scene here and one that police are still trying to figure out what happened. For now, reporting live in San Leandro, Sarah Stinson, back to you. All right, thank you for the update, Sarah.